Right, here's our location for today. Beautiful site in the little country town. Uh, you can see it's a running track here, but over to the right, this is the old public school. And um, yeah, it's probably from the 1860s, I think it was established. So I'm gonna, I, I like these big old gum trees. They've been planted in a line, so obviously planted some time ago. They're pretty big. And uh, I think there might be some hidden treasures under the trees, you know, families gathering here in the past. But before I even do that, I'm interested in this. Uh, the old long jump pit. So I'm using the Equinox 800 and I've got it mostly open, notched out those rubbish tones. Um, I may add some more tones, some of the lower numbers, but I'm guessing it's going to be pretty messy here. So I could even um, notch out some numbers just to, to avoid all the messy tones. Uh, at the same time, I don't want to miss anything. So we'll see how it goes. Let's start with this long jump pit. Along next to the running track, up to the long jump pit. Pretty wild tones here, it's all over the shop. Let's uh, have a little dig and see what we might find. Something supposedly here. And we're still on. But again, can't get a signal. Oh, I did run over it and it did jump out. It's just another more little screw, so. 17, close to the surface. Not excited by the number, but anyway, I want to dig something, so let's see. How disappointing! And it was deeper than it said, so uh, anyway, putting that in the bin. Right there, 21. Not a bad signal, hopefully, that's what I'm hoping for. It's kind of around there. Let's make it, lift it up a little bit. Poke in there. Tush. Oh, I'm right. Look at that. First two dollar. So, it's pretty obvious when you do find one, but now and then you'll get a 20, 21 or 22. That's, uh, you know, full, full tab. Or well, some poor little bugger had a sore, sore wrist or sore ankle. Sports injury. One of those little uh, alligator teeth things that hold your bandage on. Well, finally something that's not a bit of rubbish, uh, still not that exciting, a two cent piece. So I got a bit frustrated and notched out, uh, what, 15, 16 and 17. So a lot of those bottle tops and um, ring pulls are ringing up as, you know, 16, 17. So hopefully I, I see less of, less of those. And just a couple of steps away from that two cent piece was his big brother, two dollars. And it was ringing up 20. Well, I thought I was going nuts. I couldn't find this thing, but it was a good signal. I sure was nuts. Check out that big fella. One cent. Well, there's money around, but uh, I want a silver. Guess what I got? Two cents. How exciting. Okay, 22, 23. Please make me happy. Took my eyes off it again, now I've lost it. Let's do another scan. It's definitely there, but not quite on the surface. Oh, I just hit a hard bit, so. That might be a bad sign. 
It is a bad sign. Disappointing. These fields are very disappointing. Yeah. Make sure there's nothing else in there, and there's not. Bah. Something close to the surface, at least. So, let's have a little looky. Kids are out in the playground, so this uh, this field is close to the playground. It's pretty noisy. So, we might have to evade the crowds in there. Go further that way. Something here looks a bit rusty. I just see rust there. And oh, a big fat zipper. A zipper puller. I have no idea where that could be off. Something big. Um, could be like cricket, cricket pads or something. It's got a symbol on it. Looks like actually. Yeah, thought it was a Nike swoosh, but something else. Don't know. Anyway. Nothing exciting. Still looking for something exciting. Probably been talking to myself for a while because the mic was off. Anyway, yeah, I just dug that up. Looks like some kind of clip to hold paper on a table or something. No idea, but it's got a brand on it. What's that? Rost... Rostfrey. Okay, interesting. Radio, it's been pretty slow and uh, I'm kind of getting back to the car and thinking I might pack up but I've been going along this hill where you'd think you know, families might sit and watch their kids run past and um, did get a signal so let me just move that out of the way and where is it? Well that's not as convincing. Is there another one, or is that it? That's probably the one I was after. 22. Okay, let's hope it is what I'm thinking. We'll see. Okay, here we are. Be nice to end the video on a decent find. Oh, I just did hit something hard, but... Sure sharp you. Oh, finally. Just what I thought it would be, actually. One dollar, because it was up around the 23. So, a bit of a bigger coin, but similar composition to the two. And the two rings up, usually, say, 20, 21. And the one dollar is like 21, 22. Well, that's how I've been finding it anyway. There you go, another dollar. Thanks. Yay, a bit of surgery has revealed another buck. Ooh. So, I know I said I was going to um, detect around those big old gum trees earlier, but uh, there was a lot of kids uh, at the school doing some sporting activities on that oval, and I just felt a bit uncomfortable... Uh, maybe a bit dodgy hanging around doing detecting near the near the school with all those kids about and I didn't want to make the teachers concerned about me hanging around so I thought the uh, wise thing to do would be to move over to a different area so I'm over here at the sporting fields the athletic oval and uh, I found a few coins and other bits and pieces lots of rubbish but stay tuned because I find something just before getting in the car and it was worth it. So stick around and uh, have a look what I found. It's all starting to pay off. Yep, I think I'll do one more lap of this hill. Well, how about this? I'm at the car and uh, one last dig just before we hit the road. And wouldn't you know it, I thought it was maybe, it was a 19, so didn't really want to dig it, but Let's have a little look. Check it out. Maybe junk, I don't know. But better than nothing. I'll take it. It's been a bit it's a bit warped, but 
I'll have a bit of a read later. Well, it's got markings, so... It's going to be something decent. Has it got markings? I'll get it under the um, magnifying glass later. Maybe take some photos. Wow. Not bad. So even though it was a winter's day, it was beautiful to be outside. And uh, you could hear the birds and uh, the children playing and some work going on in the background. Uh, and this was the hall in the end, as far as coins and valuables go. So I've got $14 in goldies that I can spend and five cents from coins from my childhood and the ring that I found at the end. So some photos later, I, I gave the ring a wash. I didn't um, polish it at all, but it's, as you can see here, it's 925 cubic zirconia. So not a valuable stone, just a, a fake diamond, but uh, sterling silver all the same. And when you have a look at it, it is a nice looking ring. So I was pretty happy with that. That's my um, sixth ring that I've ever found in my short career of amateur metal detecting so thanks for watching hope you can come along next time